Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, innovating, and amazing propaganda cast with me, host and Pearl Dane, the one and only master propaganda hero of like defender of the fatherland. Of the Tawami one on Villa Fiore in the northwest, it is La Tour fighting for the British Empire, the Commonwealth. Here with Australian defense right off the bat, committing the mighty Australians to fight against the German Reich. Here with the 7th Armored Division, the Desert Rats. In the southeast, it is a Momo for sure, fighting for the German Army, Deutschland, and for Momo for sure. Fighting here with the 90th Panzer Grenadier Division. He's going for Dull Pioneer Grandier start, though no battle groups yet here for Momo. He keeps his cards close to himself. As always, big hearty thanks to my patron supporters for continuing generous and wonderful support with the Propaganda Cast. Big thanks to Felix for donating. A big thanks to you, and of course to the patron supporters again. And a big thanks to those just keep commenting and liking my videos. Again, helps out immensely with the YouTube algorithms. So, we got a bit of direction here with Pioneer's Norfords, Pioneer Southfords, and the Grenadiers advancing up the center here. Momo going out aggressively. We got more Australians here for La Touffe as well. Also, fairly aggressively. Heading south as with his Aussies with their Lee Enfield. So North Sap is pushing forwards there as well. Very quietly, very steadily. Another grenadier squad here for Momo for sure. But all those troops are just heading out in each their own direction. Got the munitions point here right next to the center victory point. Pania's got the fuel points. All very nice and steady. No real engagements as of yet. Could be the center that tends to be one of the main, shall we say, initial focus points here, but. Northside also tends to be a very popular spot to see the first fight happen. Granny's popping into the building here. Part of course make sure they get any surprises, but also to surprise anyone who might make a poke in there. Sango walls up there. Continued quietitude here. Guessing another machine. And another Grand is called MD40 at Momo here. Infantry are standing by to deploy. Always those few options here you might see in there. Go La Tooth with the third Australian section. Would not be surprised to see a total of four sections out of inform here. They did get buffed and they do perform very well. Those buffs especially with some training and some scopely and fuels. German force are popping in and catching the sappers here. Sappers quickly make a run for it. First engagement happening here by the northern victory point. A bit surprised it took us like this long tech to get there. Granny is busy here. Worth noting here, normally see players wiring off this either side depending where they are. Inch enough more hasn't done that at all. Not a huge deal, but it's typically like one of those little extra ads. Oh, okay. Momo here is going for a sniper. That is definitely an interesting pick here. Bit risk versus the Australians again, and they can quickly drop a unit, but at the same time, can obviously help fight bang into the Australians as long as they get close to the sniper. So, interesting choice here by Momo for sure. Not very common at all. There goes Australians coming under fire here. Will Momo commit to sniper after all, despite knowing there's Australians about? And there goes Mimo though. Even as Momo's spurs is curing him, we can see Latouf just races right past him to go straight for the fuel point. How will Momo respond to this? We are seeing some units being dispatched here now to deal with this British incursion into his real lines. Strange being up here. Bit the trick course with this building is it doesn't have like any windows on the side, so it can easily be flanked here. Sector overrun. The enemy has it. Hitting the fuel point there, definitely messing with Momo's fuel economy. Sniper out, the sharp shits it. Strange being forwards. Snub at the ready, there you go. Gets Bruce there. Sniper's there being blurred out. Snipers keep pursuing here the sniper, pulling back, getting some distance in there. Another stream, what? And there we go, almost got the sniper there already again. Particularly also factor in the marksman shot they do have access to. The Australians really are a massive risk to any snipers, and of course, in this case, ultra retreating grenadiers. Sappers got wiped due to hitting a mine, they haven't taken enough damage. That's pretty good there for Momo. Helps actually mitigate some of the issues here in the early game. And definitely leaves Momo now with just three units versus the opponent with several more units. Even though, of course, not, they're not most of them actually one to one equal to the Australians, it does mean more capture power. Now, the tooth is responding to the sniper and his inability to deal with it initially, but the dingo to counter it that way. Sniper, though, is in heavy need of healing here. And Momo would be, quite frankly, a bit silly to deny the sniper without any healing. He's going for the officer's quarters here, obviously means veterans want for his units, but also the grenadiers can heal, which is why he's not moving out of this grenadier squad, I think, or at least he's keeping the sniper close. Not too close either, so he can heal up the sniper that way. Still feels a bit risky for Momo, but I can see the logic. 
But still, it is, I think, fairly risky here. Meanwhile, straight into the platoon command post here. Flatouf cancelling the Dingo designing. He's got better things to go for. Mechanized Valgrub with the out of form for sure. Northern point being seized here. He's even got a few point right outside here. Latouf's basically mining it. Thumbs up to Momo here, the absolute cheek. And there we go. Proceed to blow the cheeks off Bruce. Crikey! My cheeks! Anyways, Pioneer's been pushed out by the Australians. Absolutely no chance of winning that engagement. Hummer following up. Here, of course, Momo with this current build order, unfortunately, is a bit short. Man, take tank weapons. His best bet is basically to get it up at the mine. And there you go, Granny's hitting up the sniper. There we go, line man goes off. Hamper almost done. Sampers on the way there for La Touf. And we got the Panzer Grenadier Company now being built here by Momo for sure and the German army. Humber roaming about there looking for prey for targets to take. And the south here, Momo is advancing beautifully well with no resistance. As again, the true strategy has kind of made it doesn't again have a lot of units. There's a lot that got spent to that fast tape with the Humber. He should be able to get the drop here on Momo. And now, of course, the sniper in particular. There we go. Really smart deep flank here by like Tuff. You definitely don't see something like this very often. Like, he really had this one, I think, fought through well, until he got within range of the Pantafels. But that was a really smart set there by Latouf. Bit, of course, making an assumption the sniper would be here. But otherwise, I mean, just going for this kind of like deep flank path here. Th two thumbs up, Luke. That was. Beautiful. That was absolute design there to catch a sniper and then just absolutely end him. So. Again, bit of a gambit then. If the sniper had been somewhere else, the Humber obviously wouldn't be able to do much, but in this case, it did pay off. I think in part because he had two of his Australian scores there, so probably worked on the assumption the sniper's going to go for where most of the Australians are. So. I'll wait massive blow to Momo for sure. The sniper, of course, hack on some kills in. But I don't think anywhere near close enough to justify his cost. So, again, really big hands up here for the two for Momo now. More than I think commenting for that also that sabotage section earlier. Pack 40 is on the way here, though, for Momo for sure. And I'm guessing looking at Achtlaut, of course, he could go for the Star Storm and Stu D calling. I'm not sure she's going to go for that. We'll have to see. Further south again, continued great pressure for Momo here, though. We can see that Latouf just sneaks up, hits the cutoff on behind this. We actually got Latouf here with a second Humber Armored Car. Oh, cancels it. Perhaps figuring that might be a bit much. Pack 40 out. And we got here the Panzer Glenys ring up here for Momo for sure. So, we got here. Oh, medical station there for Latouf. That's definitely not a bad investment either. You don't see double Humbers a lot. Type of flank end here. Minesweepers definitely want to put that away. I mean, Nigel's not going to do much here with his Minesweeper out against the German infantry. And the troop just ends up retreating there. 450 versus 451. Panzergrenadier is out here for Momo for sure with a Sturmgewehr 44. Up north, the is coming back to point here. And back at the base here, Humber need to repair. Six pounder gun for Latuf. Opposite standing get concerned there about enemy armor or light vehicles. Victory to enemy of course, the question is which of the two will Momo go for? I mean, could theoretically, like, in, I mean, he's got such a strong map lead, he could theoretically try and push for the Panzer Company and rush out something that way. I mean, he's got 38 fuel per minute, just the 8 of his opponent. That's like a significant difference. There's almost a 5 times difference in fuel income here that Momo for sure is enjoying here over La Touf. That is significant. And Latouf is definitely struggling with this kind of like strong lead. Now I'm almost got going here. There you go. Humber there getting slammed by the pack 40 and it's in fun in the pissing rounds. Panzer Glenys Glenys charging in. Of course, while this only was the main anti tank of the German army, most divisions, particularly the low graded divisions, would not have access to this. So they had to make do with, you know. Older guns like the Pack 38, or even the Pack 36, aka the army door knocking device. 
German army did try to make something out of that little land had tank gun, but that usually involved just a, having this like shit charge that could like stick to the front of the barrel and fire out that way. Got swings here being pushed back, though Pantagon's going to move forward to see a big push to have a more and more feeling confident. He's feeling the power of the Reich flowing through his veins. Meanwhile, they look to have decided to bring some big, and we do get more here with the Panzer Company. Is moving for it. Deutschland. Could go for a relatively fast Panther 4 almost, or just rush out some Star Storm, maybe equip them with the Sturmgewehrs. There you go, Australians healing up. What will it be out of Momo? Up north, Australians got the victory point here. Mines are being laid down here. Good mining, of course, here by Momo for sure. Sap is being engaged here. Panzer gun is closing in with the Sturmgewehrer. Revving through here, Latouf's vanguard. Sap is there, Humber moving in. Gurney's retreating. Low on health, low on numbers. And in the center, we got a big push here by Latouf. So Vickers supporting the attack here, assailing Momo center. Which is absolutely not prepared for this ordeal. And we do get stars from that for more for short. Two thumbs up. Also would push him into the five squads territory there. A sector is an enemy do we have any control. training here for Latouf? We do not. We do not see any training whatsoever. Quick sniper shot there, the Australians are marksman shot. Mines exploding. I think I detected by the snipe or the sappers then set off for something else. But yeah, not much other battle group there for the tooth. I mean, we got the Australians, but beyond that, he seems he hasn't invested much into that. Beyond that, a moment for sure. Seemingly a bit of hesitation here. Oh, he cancelled the star stop, even. Ah, oh, Panzer Four then, or Sturm Panzer Vier. I'm guessing Sturm Panzer Vier. That does tend to be the more common pick in the current meta game for the art plays. It obviously Infantry just. Packs a very large explosive punch. This a bit slower, lacks a turret, and isn't quite as good as his armor. But at the same time, oh, he does go for the, the panther. Two thumbs up. And we got the Arctic. We also got a buildable panther. I mean, he could go for the panther now, but that one slants much more heavily towards dealing with armor than infantry. Whereas the panther, of course, is kind of this nice little metal ground between the Sturm Panzer. And the Panther, while also having a turret. Again, field point there. We can see another two Steins, like, you know, pry back a bit of control here for more for sure across the map. Thumbs up to that. The beggars are threatening a fuel and the fault is almost done. More sappers, they're done. Follow Tuff, and of course, we got the infantry training up. So, again. So men are going to be hitting harder there once they veterans one, and most of them will be hitting one one if they aren't already there. So there you go, Pantafor rolling headed for more for short, Star Storm on the way for more. Thumbs up, some hardened veterans of the 90th Panzer Grenadier Division, previously the 90th Light Infantry Division, when it fought in North Africa. Panzer charging in there, but the threat of six Panzer guns and other fun stuff does hold back here, Momo, from going in too aggressively. Nice hit here. We have no further take yet here for Latouf. Again, the fuel control here for Momo has just been so strong and so dominant that Latouf is significantly behind in the fuel economy game. And we got the officer quarters there for the Panzer Company. Very good. And we do get those stars to amount. Hardened veterans. Heavily equipped with the finest weapons the German Reich can muster. So we'll have to see how Latouf decides to respond to this. More six-pounder guns, I imagine. There we go. But still nothing out of his battle group, besides again those Australians. I do wonder what exactly is uh, going on inside of his head here. What is he scheming? Start some grannies in South Pantafoy Norfords. Striking four bouts. And there you go, right in the sap, have some heavy fire there out of the Panther 4. Also worth noting, both sapper sections have equipped the mine sweepers. Latouf is taking Victory no chance here, Momo for sure, all of his mines. Definitely shows he's respecting his opponent <coughs> and the landmines. And in this, this is all happening, you can see Momo again is like pushing up the south side of the map as well here. Latouf continues to feel the heat here of Momo for sure. 
Good shot there. We have 300 points remaining. Further south, German forces sneaking in there with grenadiers and stars to open. Continue the advance, and we got a pack 40 backing it all up there. Just in case the Latufus got any surprises from Momo, the two Momo tries to stand ready for that as well. Pentafall has suffered a bit of damage. We got the Pioneers are trying to fix it up. Six Pioneer guns are trying to hunt him down. The two closing and are being able to take up here, though, versus Momo. And there you go. Hammer rushing forwards, marking the Grenadiers, and then zooming out before the Pack 40 gets a second shot on it and taking it out. Definitely a bit of a close call there for Latouf. In the center, there'll be guard here, Momo occupying some of Latouf's forces while he fixed. Oh, he's got his Pentacle fixed up already. Rushing in South Putsi, and there we go, Latouf here with the company command post. Sampa's closing in, catching the stars in a bit of a crossfire here. And there you go, forcing back Momo's stars to open. Actually pretty close here to a wipe. Oh my goodness, he might like to get a wipe here. Can he get it? Oh, that was close. That was insanely close there for Momo. Sap is getting blasted up north. Pentafort continues to be a menacing threat here to Latouf and the British Empire. Victory point lost. The In the southeast, Sap is routed. Grandies continue moving forward. See an aggressive combat patrol here from Mormon to clear the south side of the map of any British influence. But well, Latouf is bringing the machine gun to help keep deal with that. But we got a Panzer IV for Momo to very much force the issue. Even if Latouf has some reservations about heading over to the German army. We got six pan guns ready here. Clearly, the two of you anticipate what was about to do here. And there you go, Pentacle drawn in. Good shooting there. And the sand dust trains are sending up north. Ponds being seized. And we got a Crusader tank here full of Tuf. Definitely his fastest option getting out a tank against Momo for sure. And the sand here, German falls and sailing. Nasty pushy out of a normal for sure. Crusade tank is one third of the way done. Sap is routed. Normal for sure though. And the 90th Panzer Grenadier Sean remains firmly in control here. And again, as all this is happening, Mobile striking at the fuel point right outside like two space. Thumbs up to that. Strong map control here. Crusader tank is almost done. We have territories exposed out there. Lines being cut. Almost done. Finished. And there you go, Grenadiers been here with the Vickers. Shader Mark 2 ready. Grenadiers starts from descending upon the end thing and here catching Latouf. Very much exposed here. Good push here by Momo. This could become quite uncomfortable for him. But watch this, we got Momo for sure with the Vespa out. Bring in more to the support here for him. In fact, some are to the support in the first place. And there you go. Attempting to make off with the Pack 40 and even merging to make sure of that. Really bold move here by Momo. Painful as well. Shader rushing in here. They almost got the Panzer Grenadiers. Latouf freely starting to feel the heat here out of the German army and will need to do some work here to turn the tide at this point. We're losing a victory point. So what will Latouf do? How will he respond to this? He still hasn't like done anything with his battle group at this stage either, except again the Australians. What other ability has been selected here? Honestly starts to stand out a bit here. Around it, targeting our and we're going for the sappers. Just coming down the sappers, crusade team wing in six pound gun as well. Here, we got these turns to come. The grandees fairly easily pentacle engaged. And there you go, panda forming engaged with the six pound gun. Here, scoring some good hits. Not enough to finish off the Panda 4, but enough to make it reconsider his position here. And Momo just back to X and Macro versus Latouf, and really just leaving Latouf to stew inside of his own base for a good part of the match at this stage. Latouf really needs something drastic here. We got another Panda 4 on the way there. 
Best for me to reserve position at Fort Monmouth for sure. There we go, Stars from Betty 2 here. It's only getting some nastier bonus at the high levels of veterans here. I mean, more action rate of 5 Betty 2, obviously. Packs quite a punch, and then at Betty 3, they get more health. And they can, oh, use the Grenade 3 every two minutes. Got him, him. Uh, and they get Blacker too. We'll That's rather close, but there you go. Fine here, two starts making use of his battle group abilities, picking some again. Including a repair, that's a very good ability to have, obviously. Best for just hanging back. Uh, go dropping on the Star Storm, doing immense damage. Strange Boom, Stream 40. Worth noting here, though, I mean, the Tooth has yet to upgrade any of his Australians with the Wrecking Pack, despite that being an immensely, you know, powerful upgrade. Definitely a bit of a stand up moment here. Can he get these stars from No. And probably not with all the bones that got in there. And until he found then the Vickers slamming the crew there with high explosives in the south. Mormon's lines collapsing in there. He could get his 6 pounder gun back here from the Germans. Oh, he gave that back! And there you go. Mind the hit by the Australians. 6 pounder, a Panther 4 pack 40 moving in. Australians being run for the 6 pounder here. Heat the Crusader to assist here. I would strongly advise. Good shot here, and that more might you cancel pan for he might be going for a panther action as opposed to a storm panzer. Pulling back the other six panther gun, German force rolling in a crusader moving in block here, the pursuit. German pack 40 going ahead of the crusader tank, grenades down just to three men, low and healthy. Could get a white peat if Momo isn't careful, he's just unlucky. In fact, we might just get the white peat, a turf goes for it, and he scores the white. Limiting a bit here, Momo's pool, of course, of cheaper reinforcement for his more elite units there. For the merge. Also removes the source of Panzer Faust. And there's definitely a bit of value here to Latouf getting rid of a Grenadier squad. And there you go. Momo's sure. Bring in the Panther. The Panzer come fucking fünf. Doesn't mean more here. Panzer for engage in the Crusader tank. Stars from there, a tough spot. And there you go, the pack 41 ambush. Oh, it could get swarmed now here. We do have the panther from the moving into assist, but it's actually in trouble as well here. This could be a golden opportunity for Latouf to inflict a more crucial blow to Momo for sure. And there you go, Vets were firing at it. Kind of getting the shot in, but not enough. Sick pack 40 wiped his sap retreating through the artillery fire. He could try and send the Crusader after the Vesper, but that might be a bit risky. Particularly since Momo here plays his hand and just got Grenadiers hiding here. Wrecking the pack 40. That works too. And there you go, Panther will be engaged with the double six pounder guns, almost costing him all for Joe's Panzer Kampfwagen. Panther fast in the Crusader tank. What will the tooth go for next? More Crusaders, foot guards? We'll have to see. But there you go, Panther advancing, the Panzer Kampfwagen 5. Ausführung D. Early model of the Panther. Going for that Crusader, more more. Once blood. There you go, engaging the Crusader tank here with its high velocity 75 gun. Knocking out the British Crusader tank. Bart tanks will hit here through the sign armor. 75 points remaining for 75 points. The tooth needs to get his hands on those victory points and needs to do so fast. He might be in some really deep trouble. Still an upgrade on the Australians, though, I think. But he is going for foot guards. A thumbs up to that at least. And again on the field point here. Momo is very consistently strong with his map control. He's definitely posing a massive problem for Latouf. Comes the net with heavy Vickers fire. Strange as well there. Trying to get the other victory. We got the Panther in pursuit. We got the center falling to the German Star Storbun. And there you go in the south. Panzergrenadier is forced back here. Six pound guns are in the way there, plus the foot guards. Definitely presenting a sharper investment there from the tooth into more elite infantry now. And the south panther fort advances again. You can see that Momo for sure trying to close out the match here with the triple cap. He can La tooth turn the tide on this one, we'll have to see. Foot guards forcing out the panther. 
We got the Stutzman to contest here. So much going on. And there he goes. Scores some marksman. It starts from down and just two men here. We have command points. And now we got Sappers, Foot Guards coming in as well. He got the Northern Victory Bomb. We got 68. This one, eight. Six panel guns are falling. Starts from and got merged here. Could see a gammon bomb or grenade assault from either. We'll have to see. No grenades there, though. I mean, in the case of Latuvi doesn't have the munitions, I just realized, but more like, not quite that excuse here. Oh, battery three gain, and thus you can actually throw the grenades for free now, which is definitely still, I think, a significant buff there. Panzer, they're getting mauled here with the Australians. Absolutely getting gutted here, they're gaining battery two there. Might get white there, in fact, it's unlucky. There you go, A stars from just cutting the way through the Allied lines. Then is that backing them up? They get anything the too special there. Continue to move forward to the A star storm. An anti tank gun cleared out. A star storm just absolutely causing havoc here, chaos, down. and disorder. And we got the Vesper here. Really good target. So many units bunched up in one place here. 64 to 400. A two of back in the fires here out of the frying pan. He's about to lose one of the tank guns. This is not looking good for Latouf at all here. Close yet so far. 59 versus 400. Panther being rushed in here to deal with infantry. But there we go. Foot got ready to block them. There we go. Panther on the scene as well. We do have the six panther guns moving up. And the granny is flanking in here, but we got the Australians out there ready to deal with that. Pounds goes around to the center here. Foot guard started too. And they got a bit nasty here. Grabbing that northern victory point. Forty-eight versus four hundred. The Australians are actually do also have some large bonuses there. They become much harder to hit, get more health of actually three, and they even move faster. Trying to grab the pole on to the front. Do we have the Panthers in the bit of the danger zone? Can he get them? Yes, he does. Definitely a bit of a tactical win here for Mormont, but he's down. Oh, Lertuf, he's down at 37 versus his opponent's 400. And a mine goes off. And there you go, A star swim move backed up at the Grenadiers. More star swim for one for sure. More star swim. I wonder the foot guys getting much here. I mean, they just get a lot of like harder to hit bonuses and more damage just on wall level plus health of S3. But they definitely got a bit to go before they hit that. Got a bit to go. Starts from playing with the grannies here, hitting a lot of Latouf's forces here in an absolutely horrific position. You see the foot guards from drawing here. 35 to 391. A victory point is being overrun. Panther again, he needs some interesting bonuses. I they can check that now easily. Okay, they gain an extra damage bonus against vehicles of ST3. Good golly. Plus rate of fire. Likes. Victory point is in enemy hands. That means they'll be doing a lot of damage to tanks of HQ3. A lot the enemy of damage. is trying to overrun our HQ. Base moving about it here. The Tuf got the victory point. He almost we got the Sappers crushing it, and we got the Panther still there. We got two anti tanks there, which could catch the Panther further south of Panther on its own. A Tuf is really putting up a hell of a fight here versus Momo for sure, that's for sure. Ruthless find here. Yeah, Momo. Ooh. This is actually risky. There you go. Did merge, but still, I can't. The Australians caught them there with the marked targets that the marked from fire. They could have definitely, like, possibly wiped them. Forced away here then, then, though. Foot guards making the way. Need to get out of the uh, blend cover stuff there. Like, 
I tell if she's finding like an absolute man possessed here. All she got the Vickers away there from the tooth is a pretty decent hold here for Momo. 35 is the thing, 68. The enemy has our victory point now. A tooth, I think, is aiming up for something, but I'm not entirely sure what. Never mind, he's going for more foot guards. I mean, I suppose he could have tried for an archer here, but more foot guards does also make sense. There you go, catching the pen four here. There's a mine there, good hit. He's not careful. Yes, hits the mine. The center Australians putting up a fierce defense here. Refusing to give ground to those bloody Germans. And back here, another wave of anti tank guns. And some stars from Sea Lions on the victory point. Second foot guard section almost done. There we go. More foot guards here. More Thompsons, more bazookas, more snazzy mustaches. I guess Bobo hasn't like noticed their, their ability is free there. Oh no, that's such a huge loss here for Momo. I feel it too for being lost one of the strange squads at the ace level at that. Massive. That's really going to hurt here. A tooth. He's rushing for so points. There you go. We got the biggest car in the southern victory point now. And we got to start some sort of Well, that's going to be a tough call here. Blanco's being popped here. 24 points left. Foot guards making the assault in the center here. The southeast Australians are getting absolutely ripped apart here. Out of the cling on to tankers. Foot guards are pushing for the assault here. Starts from the ding when they can. Closing in for Deutschland. Mango grenade assault off here. Foot guards though. Fine against Arbor here, but they're in a real trouble position. Ten points left. So close yet so far here for Latuf. So close yet so far. Then it ends up being lost for the British. Quite the fight there, but in the end, Momo for sure did pull ahead there. Tuf almost had there towards the end, but a few tactical mishaps there. I think rather pushed him beyond the reach. Also, losing the early sapper section definitely hurt Latuf as well. That was a really good kill there for Momo, but of course, getting the sniper back though was really good for Latuf. But there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. You learned something from it. If you did subscribe, like, share, comment. This is Imperial Instinct. Cheers, and see you all tomorrow for another episode. Bye, everyone.